So, the Venino Sirius Evo QS, my first and so far only tablet. I'll get to that story in a while, but first let's get to unboxing this thing. We have this nice looking um, hard cardboard box. They used to um, these um, Chinese uh, knockoff uh, brands used to really gun for the iPad and you will see in a short while why that is. Check it out. It's really an iPad clone. But the thing it had going for it was the price and the build quality. But let me just put this uh, away for a second and let's look at the packaging. Um, some pieces of um, protection here, uh, foamy things, whatever. Piece of cardboard, uh, some um, this bag that the tablet came with. And of course some booklets and stuff like this. Nothing really interesting. The most thing that bothered me about this tablet was the proprietary charger, which did not look at, at anything at all with something, you know, common. I didn't understand why they could not make it, make it a USB connector, you see. Uh, the charging uh, pin is, well, it's it's really strange anyway, so you you did not have the benefit of using different chargers, but there you have it. These Chinese branded knockoff uh, tablets were like that. So anyway, this thing cost me the princely sum of uh, around uh, 50 euros in 2016, I believe, which is not bad considering the specs. I shall show them to you in just a while. Let me just put this thing back together. So we'll just gonna go ahead and read them from the box. Uh, they, well, there's the dimensions, 200 millimeters by 135 or so uh, by 8.6. So basically 20 centimeters by 14 by um, almost nine centimeters. Um, metal back, that's true. A lithium ion battery, 4000 milliamp hours. That's laughable, but we'll get to that. Eight gigs of me internal memory and a beautiful IPS LCD screen with HD resolution. I can vouch for that because it's really impressive at that price point, even for today's standards, let alone in 2016. Well, micro SD, micro HDMI, quad core CPU, one gig of RAM, a Mali 400 GPU, rock chips, chipset 3188, whatever that is, two megapixels worth of camera on front and back and a Bluetooth connection. Also wireless, but it's not written here. So yeah, you can see the back of the box as well some sort of instructions and beautiful packaging really so let me just put this away and let's get to reviewing the tablet so i bought this thing in 2016 looking for a way to replace my uh, ipad pocket pc uh, but not switching fully to uh, an android um, phone Back then phones were a bit smaller and uh, really I didn't have the budget necessary to buy, to purchase a full-on flagship, flagship. So I said to myself, I told to myself, why don't I just go ahead and buy a tablet? But I wasn't gonna pay top dollar for a premium top tier uh, Unit. So well, anyway, I went to the local retailer, a big hyper supermarket thing, and just bought this thing straight on. I liked it when I saw it. I had the possibility to return it if I didn't feel it was convenient for me. So I just went ahead and bought it. Before I start it up, let me just clean it. As you can see, it's true, it has a metallic back. It's not really iPad level. Uh, build quality but still not bad as long as you don't flex it like so 
<laughs> so as soon as you flex it, it just starts to disassemble. But let's put it back together. Yeah, so a lot of bugs and glitches and uh, uh, design flaws, but overall for 60 euros what I paid for it, it's pretty darn impressive, especially this metallic matte finish, which is actual metal. So kind of an obscure brand of uh, devices, Venino. It was supposed to be sold um, in Romania or the Eastern Europe or thereabouts, but really it's a more or less a Chinese company with Chinese tech. Not bad things per se, but really there's something lacking about this thing. Uh, as soon as you turn it over, you will see what I mean. It's looking worse for wear again. Uh, a few scratches on the plastic uh, cover of the touch screen. Uh, it's not glass obviously, but ah, right now I can see it. It still has the original uh, protective foil on it. So I don't know if I can, if I can remove this for the camera. So the screen protector is pretty well put together. I'm going to break my nails trying to remove it, so I'll leave it like this. Let's just start the thing right up and really I will try to walk you through my experience with the Venino OS. Okay, so we need to turn it over like so. Beautiful screen, you wouldn't expect this in the 60 euro um, market level position whatever beautiful animation um i was blown away by this screen really i was uh, i don't know if you can see it on camera but you'll see the vibrant colors the high contrast the acceptable more than acceptable more than reasonable resolution it wasn't supposed to be a premium device so i wasn't expecting something premium uh, it takes a lot of time to boot up, uh, but once you just give it a minute. Okay, so I have to turn it over once more. I have some password here. Uh, I hope I remember it. Okay, so fortunately I have <laughs> managed to uh, unlock this device. I was a bit scared because I didn't remember the password. Well, as you can see, an excellent and vibrant screen, but that's where all things and all good things end and begin to crumble because first off, this screen just burns through juice like nobody's business. This thing was charged up at 100% last night and it's already at 74% and it's not the battery itself because it's in standby mode so if you don't turn it on or you just keep it um, in standby in sleep mode without the screen on it just drips and runs through juice normally but as soon as you operate this uh, this huge screen for the time it just burns through juice like nobody's business. I would say when it was new about 90 minutes tops was the best battery life you could hope for. Right now I think it will go in three times less that. So in 30 minutes it will be dry if that. So anyway, um, impressive screen, a whole lot of um, apps, a whole lot of widgets. Android is an older version, which I don't like mostly because if I want to write something, um, I don't get the keyboard with the numbering. So yeah, you don't have the numerical on top of the QWER QWERTY keyboard. It's that old of an Android. And let me just look it up and see what that is. Um, 
so yeah already at 60 68 67 connection 67 percent battery life but we'll turn off the wi-fi and see what's what with this tablet so it's got a rock chip system uh, it's running on Android 4.2.2. I don't know if you can upgrade, I mean update it. I don't really care. Um, RAM is also, so memory is also faulty because you are not really able to use it. It's quite laggy and quite unresponsive at times. Maximum apps that you can run um, in the background uh, simultaneously uh, two simple apps um, stuff like that so not much more huge lag as you can see second app and it's already struggling so really this thing is a huge frustration except for the build quality and the beautiful screen you sort of realize you cannot really use it. Let's just take a photo for the hell of it and see what's what with the camera. And I'll try to show you <laughs> the photo results afterwards. So yeah, bear in mind that the camera is a bit dirty and scuffy right now. Let me just clean it again. Yeah, we are, it's a clean and crisp as it's gonna get so let's just take a photo of the box itself and see what that will render does it have autofocus i don't think so no it does not yeah so really i don't know is it a bad result or not let's just check it out no, actually it does have autofocus or at least some sort of manual focus mode or uh, let me just see if I can switch from more than two megapixels. No, I cannot. But some options seem to be offered, at least on paper. So I took a picture, but I don't know where it is. I wanted to show it to you, but really I don't have the option to do so. Let me just try it. And already the <laughs> battery is at 46%. So yeah, not a great um, tablet itself, but really something I, well, I, Lost it after in 2016. I wanted a tablet. I wanted a gadget separate from my phone. I just went ahead and bought it. I used this thing extensively for about, I don't know, one year, one year and a half, every day for about a half an hour. And afterwards, I just plain forgot about it because I switched to a more performance oriented. Uh, Android smartphone and really I just abandoned the idea of a tablet altogether and lately the market for tablets has not been that competitive or um, compelling so I guess this is the last tablet I'm ever going to buy the only uh, use for it today for me would be to control my camera from um, the Lumix GH4 camera that I own when filming it would be I don't know it would be nice to use a tablet to control it remotely but really this is not the one to to do that with so yeah build quality again is impressive for its time uh, there's an array of connections here micro HDMI the micro USB though for the life of me I don't understand why micro USB cannot be used to charge the tablet as well there's a jack port there's a micro SD card slot uh, the volume rocker switches and the power on button and that's about it on the other side there's one speaker which is meant to look like a stereo one but anyway a few scuffs dings and things like that 
Is it a collectible item? Well, in a campy, laughable, I don't know, we've come a long way sort of aspect. Yes, it is. Uh, mainly because it's well built for its price point. So, yeah, sticking this in a drawer or on a, on a shelf as a memento for a tech nerd would be sort of acceptable. <laughs> it's a it's too much of an iPad uh, copy or uh, replica clone for my taste and these huge bezels uh, don't do it any favors. So anyway, this has been the Venino Sirius Evo QS. As you can see, it's made in China by the Venino Corporation LLC. Designed in the USA, I think. So imagine how many uh, failed <laughs> Apple applicants have worked for the Venino Corporation. But anyway, that's just my two cents on the, the matter. So remember, I mostly buy useless, quirky, obsolete tech stuff like this, so you don't have to. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.